Hi, I'm Ajay Setran, Cloud Architect here at Okta. In many organizations, there is a need to manage access based on job codes or user profile attributes, or what is generally referred to as role-based access control. In this example, we show you complex group assignment using Okta workflows. So let us say that we have a user that has some group memberships and this user is a goal a member of the goal group uh, this membership in the goal group will be unaffected through this flow now based on the job title we will adjust the user's group's membership based on the values here so if the user is an engineer they will be a part of group 3 if a manager, groups two and three, and if a VP, groups one, two, and three. Any other groups that the user is a part of outside of the, this mapping table groups will be unaffected. So let's see this in action. So our test user, is an engineer. We're going to go ahead and run this. So let's take a look at the execution here. So we first read the user, we get the user profile attributes. We identify that this is an engineer based on the title, but notice this is actually a list. So you could construct a list of these different user profile attributes that you want to queue off of. We call this flow to create the target group list. So in that creation of the target group list, we use the list reduce card so that we can iterate through the list of um, that has been sent in and create a consolidated list of all the groups that the user has to be a member of and return that. Now then we get the user's current group memberships, right? And it turns out this user currently uh, is a member of everyone and gold. Now, what are the target groups? Well, when we look at that, we can see that the groups that have to be removed are none because we have to leave any groups that are not part of that table mapping alone. And then we go through and we see which are the groups to be added. The groups to be added in this case are group three. So when I come back to the user over here, refresh the screen, you can see that group three is now added. Let's go ahead and change this user to be a manager. So based on this table, the user now has to be a member of group two and group three. So let's go ahead and So this time, I run through the same logic, but we realize that the group that the user has to be added to is group two. So coming back over here, come to the groups, you can see that the user gets added to group two. Well, this test user is having an amazing run and is now a VP. So you can see now that the group to be added 
based on that mapping table is group one. So come back over here. You can see that group one is added. Well, as it turns out, Test didn't enjoy his VP role very much and longed for the days he could build. And so he's decided he's going to be an engineer again. Well, let's refresh the flow history here. And this time we can see that there's really no group to be added, but in fact, there are some groups to be taken away. So group one and group two uh, have to be taken away for this user. And if I go down over here to uh, the user, refresh the page, you can see now that groups one and two have been taken away and he's left with just group three that he had when he was an engineer. Hope you enjoyed this and thanks for listening.